Welcome back to my channel. If you're here, it's because you're looking for something caliente and I got it right here for you guys. Right here for you guys. So today for my ladies, I'll be showing you how to walk on heels the proper caliente way. Yes. I will also be giving a small explanations of different types of heels, tips, as well as which ones to wear for different occasions. So make sure you stay tuned for this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and keep on watching so ladies the first shoe i have for you here is a wedge heel so um for wedges they know like normally the top looks like a ballerina shoe and as you can see here like the bottom is always flat um from top to bottom there are no gaps which means you get maximum support of your feet all night long as in you can shackle you can guara guara and you won't shake <laughs> this shoe also is very perfect for barbecues like days out barbecues and last minute dates you know those dates that where you have to rush and you don't know what you're wearing these these will save you these this will look this will make you look like a million dollars in two minutes black heels go with everything black stuff black black color in general just goes with everything so these i normally wear them with jeans i can wear them with joggers i can wear them with maxi dresses i can wear them with like wide open um trousers they just make you look chic they make you look what what caliente so ladies the next shoe i have with me here is a flat uh, is flat form <laughs> the next shoe i have here for you guys is a platform strappy heels so basically you've got a chunky platform base here and here normally like um, there are different sizes of the heel but this one is um, medium I'll say and it comes with straps here and it's open toe so um, yeah the straps are very useful for holding your feet together ladies out there yeah that don't know the shoe size or the shoe or like the feet type please if you have white feet buy white shoes buy wide feet heels because why is your why is your feet overlapping the heel why is your feet coming off why <laughs> these trappy heels are very comfortable for nights out or for dates as well um they usually go with every outfit any kind of outfit you can think of just throw these on and you're fine baby go um for my girls that are not comfortable with open toe shoes with open toe heels um i'll say these are not these are not appropriate for you then if you don't feel comfortable with your feet being exposed <laughs> you know the bottom of a chicken leg that's how i'm it. <laughs> ladies next i've got these platform open toe heels as you can see they are extreme they're very extreme these ones are clear heels um they're open toe and you can only wear these if you know how to walk on heels like <laughs> since you're not ready to die don't 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 be ready to die because <laughs> i got inspiration from nella rose i saw these on her page and i was like i gotta get these heels these heels are bam these heels are everything these heels are caliente they have a platform which they do give you support but only here here you have to work yourself you have to work on your balance otherwise you go die <laughs> you go die these ones here have a much more chunkier platform and look at the heel look a spaghetti you're standing on a spaghetti are you ready to die <laughs> are you really ready to die you have full support at the front but here, if you don't know how to balance yourself, you're gonna break your ankle. You're gonna break it. And I've experienced it. It's not nice. I know, you don't have to. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Also, um, they're open toe, so which means sometimes you might feel a bit of discomfort here because although it has a platform supporting your feet from underneath, here on top, the 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 edges i don't know they can be quite disturbing and you might 
get blisters sometimes um it's, it's not nice it's not nice so you might want to get um some of those plasters i don't i don't know how they call them some of those plasters that you just put like on your small toe your big toe at the sides of them and you're good to go these heels are very very appropriate for like weddings uh birthday parties or if you just want to be extra baby cow like me or just caliente that's what it is the next heel ladies i have for you is open toe chunky heels these don't have platform normally um but the heel itself is chunky so you have support from the back but here you don't have no support so normally you will go for um gels that you put here and they just keep your feet in place okay so you because you don't want to be sliding and your feet the toes looking like this um <laughs> especially for my ladies that are not comfortable on wearing open toe heels i'll say that um go for um much more closed um heels they can you can still find chunky ones but with like with closed um toes i'll say that these are more appropriate for my wide feet ladies because you're closer to the ground it doesn't make your feet look scary i don't know if you i don't know if you guys understand me like the the higher your feet are the big the wider the bigger is gonna look and you and you, <laughs> you're gonna look scary <laughs> you're gonna look scary the lower the closer they are to the ground the more flat your feet will look and they're much more slimmer will look so for my wide feet ladies these are the ones these are the ones paint your toes and slay in the shoes next ladies i also have these flat shoes um these are very very flat like honestly they look like a lasagna sheet from the front <laughs> as you can see and the heel is very very thin um these are really wobbly okay you have no balance at all if you don't know how to like if you don't know your own balance you won't have balance overall okay you will just keep on falling you will just keep on tripping you will just keep on you know <laughs> wobbling like you can't you can't do anything in this you will feel uncomfortable all night all day wherever you are you feel your feet will hurt like especially this bit of the feet like Oh, you're gonna be in extreme pain especially and if you don't have gels to support it as well you'll just get ready to die um otherwise they're really really nice they're really really chic i'll say um they go with every outfit clear heels in general clear and black heels they just go with everything and um yeah they're open toe these are the shoes that will make your feet look scary if you're not like if you don't paint your toes or you just haven't been taking care of your feet like ladies don't expose yourself like that like don't do that to your feet like they deserve respect they really do <laughs> and then you want you wonder why man them don't look at our feet and they run away they run away if you like open toe heels paint your nails Look one more tip um these kind of heels also look very nice on slim fit but once again if you're wide feet make sure you get your size and check on the wide feet section yeah <laughs> this one this one guys this one is my favorite stiletto 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 the stiletto stiletto shoes they just make you look they make you look like a businesswoman. They make you look like a chick. They make you look like a bad bee. They make you look like a boss. Okay. They just change the whole look. So stilettos, they normally come with pointy ends. Also for stiletto shoes, not all stiletto shoes come clear heeled like this one. Um, this one, I got them because I really like them. And they're like, they don't like fully expose your feet like that because you could like, the, your feet is still covered with a bit of color. But normally like stiletto shoes come in leather material. Yeah, you will mostly find them in leather material. But nowadays, because things are changing and you know, fashion and everything is just blooming, growing, changing, you know, uh, the new trend. These are the new trend. For my slim feet ladies, 
these these are really really nice um if you have the perfect size of shoe you will feel very comfortable because look at the edges these can these can cut you this can cut you and for you my white feet ladies if you try to put your feet in here for my black queens these can trigger you ashiness on your feet like and i've moisturized my hands <laughs> i've moisturized my hands but <laughs> it's already cutting can you see that can you see that and especially if you're wearing these all night just carry moisturizer with you okay and if you have white feet don't do this to yourself don't do it this is for my slim feet ladies if you are white feet go to the white feet section once again i'm i'm so i'm stressing it so much but you i have to i have to i don't want you guys to suffer i don't want i want you guys to slay i want you guys to feel caliente when you're wearing this when you're wearing this you need to feel caliente next up ladies i've got this shoe um i've never worn this so i don't actually know how these feel outside <laughs> okay i've worn this indoors I've, I've practiced a bit with them because they're very wobbly like guys look at the heel look at the heel look how thin it is you must be a master you must be a pro to walk on this and it's flat it's flat as well you know how you're gonna suffer you will need a and e at the end of the night once again i've mentioned gel cushions gel cushions can just do minimum they can just do a minimal support for you like it's all in you if you're ready to suffer these i cannot even lie you will suffer regardless you just need to be brave i am so sorry for being so honest <laughs> but because i've had heels like this and you know i've tried to hide my inner feelings <laughs> when i'm dying but you know we just gotta suffer when we want to slay these are very very colorful the, these are hot pink um and yeah i still haven't styled them so i want you guys to help me come up with styling ideas because i don't know what to wear them with i really don't know um most likely a dress but which dress <laughs> which dress yeah, but otherwise um these are really cute once again because they're not as stable as you can see i don't recommend these for my white feet ladies um you will struggle a lot you will struggle a lot so for my thin feet ladies slimmer feet ladies um this one is for you just get the right size and you'll be fine oh oh this next one this next one L look at it just look at it it's so pretty these were my birthday heels um yeah for my 19th birthday if i tell you i slayed on this yeah as i was walking down those stairs <laughs> see me slaying see me looking caliente i suffered in this you know i suffered in this it's because i didn't i didn't wear gel cushions as well my feet my feet were looking like an airport i painted my toes and my feet are beautiful it wasn't as scary it wasn't as scary so yeah as you can see these shoes are like thin all the way you have zero support whether you wear a gel cushion or not it's all on you baby girl it's all on you but they're pretty so slay slay on this okay it's worth the pain <laughs> i don't know how i feel about this shoe but i need your opinion i've never worn this shoe you can probably see why. You can probably see why I've never worn this. I'm extra, but I'm not extra like that. What's up with the blue and the pink? They're pretty though, guys. I can't even lie. They're really pretty. It's just been really, really hard for me to style them, okay? I think, let me not lie. I think I've worn them once with um, an African dress. Uh, it's, it's blue and pinkish, yeah. Back then, I didn't have a lot of heels like i do now so you know i had not many choices but to wear this i can't even <laughs> this heel you can get full support from it because it's chunky it's chunky chunky it's chunky from the back <laughs> and it's chunky from the front so you get full support yes i mean i said chucky. <laughs> chucky <laughs> 
as you can see in the shoe the edges are doubled so you definitely don't get like any ashiness from the sides of your feet or you don't get any like pokiness and like no cuts on the sides of your feet as well these are generally really really comfy to wear i can't even lie um this would be the perfect shoe for me um and i recommend for my girls out there to get heels that are similar to this not that you get the same style the same auntie style like come on <laughs> how are you gonna style these tell me <laughs> tell me how are you gonna style these another tip of heels um is that always check out for the bottom of your heel okay so say you're in a slippery floor i don't know if, you, if this has happened to you girls but you're in a slippery floor and suddenly you're doing you're skating these are heels you're not meant to skate that's there to help you stay stable okay it won't move it just won't move okay it would just in case that you see that your heel on the bottom doesn't have like any of these trappy patterns or like shredded patterns make sure you get something sharp and just like scrape the bottom scrape the bottom left right up and down left right and that will make sure that you like when you're on slippery floors you're not doing high skating so girlies this was the end of me giving you tips and advice of different types of heels which ones are more convenient which ones look better on your feet which ones are more appropriate for the occasion you're going for and yeah now we're going to move on to the actual practice i'm going to be showing you the, some short clips on how to walk on this kind of heels keep on watching so yeah guys let me show you how i walk on heels on real ground as you can see i walk with one foot in front of the other this helps giving you more balance especially on a sturdy um ground like this one and crossing your legs just makes your walking look more feminine and caliente as a beginner you need to know that walking on heels may not be easy and requires a lot of practice for this you need to know the concept heel to toe you begin to place the heel of one shoe to the ground and then your toes like so this just gives you more stability and doesn't make you look weird it may feel very strange at the beginning when you're doing heel toe slowly but over time you will know that this is really helpful and it just gets easier As a beginner, I would personally recommend starting on chunky heels or wedges just because they help distributing your weight evenly and like so, you will have more control over your balance. With wedges, you can do heel to toe as well, it's just that you won't have to grip to the floor harder with wedges because they are flat and that actually means less work for you baby girl. guys i've seen girls do this so much on the streets and me personally as well when i'm genuinely tired from a night out like you just don't know how to walk on heels anymore you open your legs like that you lose control you lose balance and you just start to shake you start twisting your ankles you might even break it it's just not attractive at all and you start looking weird you start looking mad but you know like with a little practice with a little you know going out every now and then you'll just be looking like a pro you'll be looking caliente you'll be walking like a caliente baby so guys this was the end of my video for my ladies i hope you really really liked my tips these are the kind of heels i have in my wardrobe and i just wear and i feel comfortable with so give it give them give them a try see how you feel with them and get practicing on those walking skills because i'll be waiting for you here to get what more caliente baby don't forget to like comment and subscribe mm -hmm.